So my name is Ella. I'm based in Warsaw, Poland, and do from time to time I do online tours from 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 Warsaw. Today I'm going to talk about Emanuel Ringelblum. And who was Emanuel Ringelblum? He was a teacher, an activist, a researcher, a historian. But today we remember him because he was a founder of the Onek Shabbat group, the Joy of Saturday, that during the Second World War uh, documented life of Jews in the occupied Poland, mainly in Warsaw, but not only, across Poland, in the whole of Poland. The tour started at the Jewish Historical Institute before this, in Tłomacki Street. Uh, before the Second World War, it was the main Judaic library and it comprised several thousand volumes, including prints from the 16th and 17th century. Another institution that was uh, located here uh, was uh, Institute for uh, Judaic Studies. Uh, the institute was the only one of its kind in Poland uh, and it was the first research and educational center in Europe. Uh, it ran uh, secular courses. During the Second World War, uh, there was a Jewish self-help located here and Emanuel Ringelblum was the leader. He ran the institution, the, the organization. The spots on the floor are a reminder of a fire in result of blasting the Great Synagogue in 1943. At the Institute they have this fantastic large map of, of pre-war Poland. Uh, Emanuel Ringelblum was born in Buczacz, which is now Ukraine, uh, and in 1900s, in 1914, the family moved to Nowy Sąd, and he graduated from gymnasium there, a middle school, and in 1920, uh, he started studies at the Warsaw University uh, history. Uh, you can see now the picture of the Great Synagogue that was blasted in 1943 uh, in May, on the 16th of May. It was indeed uh, next to the uh, Institute. And as I said, the fire actually impacted the Institute. The building remained, just that there was a big fire in inside and the spots we just we had, could just see the spots. I'm now entering Aleja Solidarności. During the Second World War, it was called Leszno Street. Uh, at Leszno too, there was a Cafe Sztuka. At Cafe Sztuka performed uh, such people as Władysław Spielmann, a pianist, Viera Gran, who was a singer, and Władysław Schlenkel wrote uh, cabaret uh, dialogues there. Um, Emanuel Ringelblum must have known this place uh, as he lived uh, nearby. Uh, he lived to the left of this Lutheran church. There you can see. Emanuel Ringelblum's house didn't survive, but Leszno 13 did. We are now looking at the old tram, number 13. Uh, promoting a theatre here. Leszno 13 was opposite Emanuel Ringelblum's house, still within a ghetto, the Warsaw ghetto. Uh, and what an interesting building. This huge tenement house had two internal yards. It, it comprised many institutions, Jewish institutions, as well as uh, workshops. Four doctors were, were lived here. There was an institution located here, the Office of Fighting Usury and Speculation, the most hated office here that collaborated actually with Germans and it was a very infamous uh, institution, uh, a gentleman called Abraham Ganzweich, uh, who was a traitor hated by uh, Jews. Uh, he was, as I said, he was very much collaborating with Germans. Uh, well, in the office, uh, several, several hundred people worked there and the office reported directly to the German police, not to Judenrat, the uh, Jewish government in the ghetto. 
And instead of uh, fighting against speculations, actually they were spe speculator. Uh, they were they they were bribers. They were, they were blackmailers. In Aleja Solidarności or Leszno Street, there is a Catholic church, and it was one of the three Catholic churches uh, in ghetto. But only two of them actually provided service. Uh, interestingly, this church after the Second World War it was moved back slightly away from the street because the street was widened. And after Cafe Stuka at Leszno too, uh, we came to another uh, place of entertainment in the Warsaw Ghetto, uh, Theatre Femina. It was opened until 90, uh, the Great Deportation Action in July 1942. Uh, the artistic director was Jerzy Jurandot. They had 14 premieres during the Ghetto Times. Uh, they performed only in Polish. And besides uh, theatre, they also uh, organise cultural events, such as uh, Children's Month. Opposite Femina Theatre, uh, a mural called uh, The People of Aleja Solidarności, of Old Leszno, uh, Emanuel Ringelblum holding uh, underground archive, and Marysia Eisenstadt, uh, the nightingale of the ghetto. And we came to the final stop on our tour at Novolipki Street. It was here where a school uh, was located and in the basement of the school, um, Emanuel Ringelblum's archive was buried, the first part uh, in July 1942, uh, the second part in the early weeks of 1943. Israel Liechtenstein was the school head teacher and he uh, and he asked two of his uh, students, Nahum Grzywacz and David uh, Graber, uh, to, bury, uh, to bury boxes and milk cans uh, in, the, in the ground. Uh, it is David who in his testament wrote, what we couldn't scream out to the world, uh, we buried in the ground. Emanuel Ringelblum's archive was uh, found after the Second World War uh, and is now stored uh, in the uh, Jewish Historical Institute. There is a permanent exhibition at the Institute uh, that you can visit to learn about Onek Shabbat group, to learn about Emanuel Ringelblum. And if you enjoyed the extract, the tour, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.